let's look at the muscle mechanics for the musculature known as lateral or external rotators of the thigh at the hip joint. We're talking about piriformis and other deep lateral rotators, gluteus maximus, posterior fibers of gluteus medius minimus. We normally think of them in their open chain scenario where the foot is free to move and we pull the distal attachment towards the proximal or medial attachment and we get lateral external rotation of the thigh at the hip joint. Go back. But that's the open chain scenario, standard joint action. If the foot is stable on the floor and we have closed chain scenario, we get a reverse action where the sacrum or pelvic bone instead moves towards the femur and we get a rotation of the pelvic bone at that hip joint. In this case, the right-sided lateral rotation musculature created left rotation of the pelvis at the hip joint. So, lateral external rotator musculature in open chain scenario are contralateral rotators of the pelvis at the hip joint in closed chain scenario. Okay, now Justin, turn around and face the camera. So, when we have a client that has tight lateral rotation musculature, perhaps they will present, rotate your thigh outward, perhaps they'll present in open chain scenario because the foot can somewhat move easily on the floor like this. Go back. But it's also possible that he would present with his pelvis rotated to the opposite side. Now, if his pelvis is rotated to the left and he's looking to the left, he can't operate that way. So he would compensate by rotating his lumbar spine to face forward. And now we would have a compensatory rotation in the lumbar spine, which might start to cause some wear and tear, fatigue and injury in the lumbar spinal joints. Back to a healthy posture.